Hey everybody, uh, this uh, lesson is on subtracting, subtraction with renaming, you guys. This is lesson uh, 7.8 in the textbook that I am following. So our common core strand is uh, we're going to be using our prior knowledge, continue to use our prior knowledge on whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions. So our essential question here is how can we rename a mixed number uh, to help us subtract. So we're going to re be renaming mixed numbers a lot. So let's uh, rename this mixed number as a fraction that's greater than 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, represent a model and I'm going to go ahead and, and this is going to be my, my 1. So since I have 3 of them here plus 3 fourths, I'm going to do 4 of them to get my 3 and 3 fourths right there. And since it's, uh, it's in terms of force right there, I'm going to uh, divide these guys up into force right there. Okay, and then I'm going to shade three of them. Here's one. I'm going to shade that. I'm going to shade that. I'm going to shade that. And then I'm going to shade three-fourths of this one right here. Okay, so here it is right there. All right, so how many fourths is that? Well, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this represents fifteen-fourths right here. Okay, so three and three-fourths is fifteen-fourths. All right. So here's another way. I showed you this in the last lesson, or maybe it was the one before. Remember what I did is I multiplied uh, this 4 times 3, which is 12, and then I added the top number, which is 12 plus 3 is 15. So that gets me my new top number. I think this way is a lot easier, you guys. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15, so my new top number becomes 15. Your bottom number stays the same, so it equals 15 fourths. I'm going to use that on these next ones here, you guys. If I do 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13, so this becomes 13 sixths. Okay, over here, 10 times 3 is 30, 30 plus 3 is 33, 33 tenths. Okay, here you do this one. Okay, did you get it? I did. 19 sevenths, right? Okay. All right. Uh, so here we go. We're going to try a problem here. Ward, Mike, and Barbie go on a jog at the coast. My favorite place is a place called Shelter Cove. Uh, Ward was jogging for three hours. Mike was jogging for two and one-fourth hours. And Barbie was jogging for one and three-fourths of an hour. Okay, so how much longer was Mike jogging than Barbie? So I'm going to look at Mike's time, which is 2 and 1 fourth, and Barbie's time, which is 1 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to do a subtraction. There's Barbie jogging. Okay, so we're going to uh, use models to uh, subtract 2 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fourths. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to shade uh, these three units right here. I'm going to shade 2 and 1 fourth for Mike right here. So I'll shade all of that for 1. Shade all of that to make two, and then one more for two and a fourth. So there's, here's Mike right there, represented right there. Okay, I'm going to take it up to the top page. There's Mike right there. Now what I'm going to do with these other squares below it is shade how much Barbie jogged. Well, she jogged one and three-fourths. So I'm going to shade all of this, and then three of these guys, three of four of this guy right there. Okay, and so when I subtract you guys, how much is left over? So here's Mike's right here. Here's Barbie's right here. This is the leftover piece, which is two of them, you guys. And then so if there are two of them, these are in terms of fourths, you guys. So the difference is going to be two-fourths right there. Okay, so Mike jogged two-fourths of an hour longer than uh, Barbie did, uh, which is one-half. Remember, two-fourths reduces to one-half, you guys, okay? Uh, remember, two goes into this one time, two goes into that two times. So two-fourths reduces to one-half, okay? Or you can think of this. Here's two out of the four. It's one-half of the square right there, or the rectangle, okay? All right, so if you have one-fourth size part, can you take away three-fourths size part? And explain. Okay, so if you had a dollar, you guys, could I take away three dollars from you? Well, no, I can't do that. You don't have enough money, you guys. So it's the same here. If I have one-fourth size part, I can't take away three-fourths size part right there. There's not enough. Okay, so what I say? No, you can't. Uh, you can only take away one-fourth size part away from one-fourth size part. How about this one? If you have one hole and one-fourth size part with this hole, can I take away three-fourths size parts? Well, yeah, that's easy enough. And shoot, just with the hole right there, the hole is already four fourth size parts, so I can take three away from that, no problem. But if I had four fourth size parts for the hole right there, plus one more fourth size parts, that gives me five fourth size parts. So if I took away three fourth size parts, uh, you'd have two fourth size parts left. I should have made this number right here instead of spelling out three. I should have told you that that's just three. Golly, I'm just not consistent right there, okay? All right. 
Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Okay, so explain how you can find uh, how much longer Ward jogged, uh, jogged than Mike did. Okay, I have to see that Ward problem again. So there it is right there. So Ward jogged for three hours and Mike jogged for two and one fourth hours. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to model three with three of those rectangles right there and then uh, to a two and a fourth. So since uh, three of them represents all of Ward's jogging right there, then I'm just going to shade in the two and one fourth, you guys. And so if I shade in the two and one fourth, so here's, here's uh, Ward right there. Ward uh, did all of these. I'm not going to shade them all in. All I need to do is shade this and then what's left over. So now I'm going to shade in the two and one fourth. There's the two and one fourth right there. Okay, so there's Mike's distance, and Ward is the whole thing right there. So how much more was Ward? He was three of these guys, so three, and these are in terms of fourths, so he was three-fourths more. So if I subtracted uh, uh, three minus two and one-fourth, it would get me this three-fourths right there. Okay, so the difference is that three-fourths of an hour. All right, so rename uh, the, uh, the first mixed number here. So we're going to rename these numbers right there. So find the difference. So we're going to rename these numbers. All right, so I'm going to do it a couple of ways right here. One way is to rename 5 and 1 eighth as a mixed number with a fraction that's greater than 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do is change this 5 to 4 plus 1. Okay, here's the 1 eighth. So this says right here 5 and 1 eighth. Then I'm going to change this 1 to 8 eighths. And I chose 8 eighths because this is in terms of 8. And so is the other denominator. It's in terms of 8. Okay, if it was in terms of 5, I'd change it to 5 over 5. But this 1 becomes 8 eighths. Okay, so here's 4 plus 1. Here's 4 plus 1. Okay, now I can go ahead and add 8 eighths plus 1 eighth. Well, 8 eighths plus 1 eighth gives me this 9 eighths right here. And so this 4 is this 4. Okay, so 5 and 1 eighth is the same as 4 and 1 eighth, there are 9 eighths right there. Okay, so uh, here's a trick, you guys. If you decrease this number right here to 4, add these two numbers, and that's my new top number right there. 8 plus 1 is 9, that's my new top number. So decrease this, we're borrowing from this, and just add these two numbers together, and it changes my top number right there. And you're adding them because you're just adding this 1 right here. Okay, anyways. So now, step two is uh, we're now going to subtract the mixed number. So I'm going to change the 5 and 1 eighths to 4 and 9 eighths, and then I can go ahead and subtract 4 and 9 eighths minus this 3 and 1, uh, 3 eighths right here. Okay, then I can go ahead and subtract the red whole numbers. 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, 9 eighths minus 3 eighths gets me 6 eighths because 9 minus 3 is 6. Okay, remember the denominator stays in terms of eighths. Okay, and then uh, 6 eighths reduces to uh, 3 fourths, you guys. 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 8 4 times. Okay, so see if you can divide a number down. These are both even numbers, so it's easy to divide those down. Okay, here's another way, you guys. So we can rename both uh, mixed numbers as fractions greater than 1. I'm going to turn them to what's called uh, improper fractions, okay, like we did in the beginning of the lesson. 8 times 5 is 40, 40 plus 1 is 41. So 5 and 1 eighths is the same as 41 eighths. 3 and uh, 3 eighths, 8 times 3 is 24, 24 plus 3 is 27. So this becomes 27 eighths. Now I can just subtract 41 eighths minus 27 eighths right here, okay? So now we're going to subtract those numbers. And then 41 minus 27 is 14, so 14 eighths. 14 eighths becomes um, uh, 8 eighths plus 6 eighths, which is uh, um, 1 and 6 eighths, and 6 eighths still reduces to 3 fourths right there. Okay, so uh, explain how you can rename uh, 5 to subtract 3 and 1 fourth. Okay, you can rename 5 as 4 plus 1 to get 4 and 4 fourths. Somebody came home, so my dogs are barking. Okay, then we have 4 and 4 fourths minus 3 and 1 fourth, and you get 1 and 3 fourths. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Take care.